Welcome everybody to the video. We have a special collab in store today, as I'm sure you can see. We are in the flesh, and um, Adam, welcome. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. I think you don't really need an introduction because when we when we made the announcement that we were going to start working together and just chit chatting, like half the viewers knew exactly who you were. Mm -hmm. I guess the Canadian market is relatively smaller at the end of the day, but. Um, for those that are not familiar, you know, our channel has been kind of related around stock market and uh, that type of education. Would you say you fall more on the planning side, retirement? Because they are they are really two different things. They kind of go hand in hand, but they're very, very different. At the Absolutely. End of the day. Yeah, we fall more on the, the planning side. So, you know, whether it's a DIY investor or someone at the bank or, or you know, running their own ETF, or whatever it is, we kind of fall into that piece of strictly retirement planning. Like when you get closer to retirement, how do you kind of build that out? Like you've worked hard to build up what you have. How do we draw that down in an efficient manner? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like... I mean, since you joined the channel, Dad, if we look at our demographic, it used to be much younger, <laughs> which, makes, yeah, which makes sense. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of between you guys. <laughs> yeah. Now, so, yeah. Yeah. We have the, stones. <laughs> but uh, no, the demographic has definitely changed. And one of the things we noticed when I came on the channel about a year ago or so is, yeah, we, we started dealing, well, I started introducing more of the planning and the pensions and the government benefit aspects of investing in general. And the collaboration with Adam just makes so much sense because this is, I, mean, you know, I worked as a, as a certified financial planner for years, but, but I did both. And this mm -hmm. is essentially what you do. I mean, this is your strength. So this is awesome to have your expertise coming in to speak to our audience. Yeah, no, it's great. And yeah, I, I, you know, I did kind of your side for many years too, where I did both investing and planning and sold mutual funds and kind of that business. And about five years ago, I realized like, it, it's, to me, it's a dying breed. Like mm -hmm. there, there's investing and there's planning. And, and so we've kind of geared towards the planning. Yeah. And then, you know, that's how I came across your guys' channel of, of more of the investing side. Well, that's like conceptually just to fill everybody in. Like, and I know I've been talking about this a lot, but this new direction that I'm thinking we're kind of heading towards is that we all specialize in our own specific areas, right? Whether that be stock market, whether that be planning, whether that be real estate. And, you know, we are in a really unique position as influencers and of people kind of that have these audiences. It's like a, what I'm visioning envisioning is to essentially build a network of people that mm -hmm. are all you know their own special people and like it's so interesting because i probably have so many questions that the viewers are wondering like like when you talk about a certified financial planner um i remember when i was getting my licensing i was like at first i thought okay well this is the route i'm gonna go i came to realize pretty early on that it's like this is not for me like <laughs> and, and like I, I say that like clearly i ended up you know completely leaving the industry because i just wasn't I don't know. Yeah, that that's a topic for another discussion. But <laughs> one thing I can say for certain is like being a younger person, it's very hard to talk about financial planning stuff when I just haven't lived through it. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I give the example, we just did a live session, Dad, you were on the road coming mm -hmm. here, so you yeah. didn't see it, but we were yeah. talking about HELOCs. And it's like, how can I talk about HELOCs if I don't even have a home? <laughs> <Yeah>. Like I just <laughs> got a home for months ago, right? Yeah. So it's like it's it's that's just one example of all the different areas where it does come with a little bit of life experience and I'm sure, sure working with clients but that's but that's from a younger person's perspective yeah the planning just isn't necessarily like my strong a strong suit or even a, a point of emphasis but clearly as you, I think as you get older it becomes more and more important yeah and I think a lot of people that, that I talk to on a daily basis that do the DIY investing you know from a young age you build it up they hit a point where it's like yeah I there's a planning piece that needs to happen here, right? Like most people, you know, I always say you can save, save, save. It's easy to save money. It's hard to kind of draw it down in an efficient way. And, you know, a lot of people don't kind of bump up against that till 45, 50. Yeah. So it's, you know, that's where you guys come in of, of how do you pick stocks and, and build that quality portfolio. But eventually, I don't know how you enter into retirement without having a plan, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. but, but as we know, a lot of people do. Oh, most. <laughs> and and, it's, and uh, it's, you know, having worked with clients through their wealth building years into the transition and into their retirement years, it, it's astounding how many people, you know, you probably would, your clientele would be the same. Roughly, I always found around 50, age 50, people started to get serious. So the demographic of, of our channel is, you know, 25, you know, there's a lot in the 25 to 35 range. So it, that's, this is something that they're not even really thinking about. But you really should. Here's, yeah. a, here's a good question. Would it be for a younger person in their 25s, 35s, mm -hmm. is it beneficial to start thinking about planning that young? Or it might be a little bit too early at that point? What I always tell people at that age bracket is if you feel comfortable with what you're doing and you feel you you know, you've done momentum. a bit of research and you have momentum and it's like, yeah, I'm building up accounts and I'm not going into debt and, and momentum's moving in the right direction, keep doing what you're yeah. doing. Yeah. Um, it's as soon as you feel like... I'm not going in the right direction, I'm bringing on debt, I'm not making it, whatever it is, 
loop back with a professional. Again, you know, we don't do plans for people kind of under 45. We have a partner that we, we use for that. Mm. But talk to a professional. Talk to someone that you trust around you. Like I always say, have a trusted kind of circle of people around you mm -hmm. that you can lean on at any age. Um, you know, again, surround yourself with people smarter than you. That's why I have these guys here. So, <laughs> vice but, versa. Uh, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it's definitely for the younger. There's no, you know, I always say, get a plan by 45, 50. But if you're younger than that and don't feel like you're on track, you need to like, you, you can't get to 45, 50 in a bunch of debt and not in a good situation yeah. and just fix it. It's not going to happen. Well, and, and we see that all the time where and even on our channel in the comments, I wish I would have known this 20 years ago. <clears throat> so to your point, Brandon, yeah, when you're 25 or 30, you're not going to be focused on the drawdowns. You're not going to be focused on that. But to be aware of the destination, mm -hmm. I think is important. And that's mm -hmm. where, uh, you know, if you cover off both sides of the whole journey, uh, that can pay huge dividends. Absolutely. Yeah, regardless of how old you are. And I'm always impressed when you have the, you know, I'm 21 and I really enjoyed the video because, you know, I always feel if I'm talking about, you know, Canada Pension Plan or Old Age Security, you're talking 50 plus before people are even interested. But there are, there are quite a few yeah. younger people who, yeah. and I'm so impressed with that. So. And there's a lot of younger people now that are, you know, not taking typical jobs or starting their own businesses and that yeah. kind of stuff. So, you know, you have to understand paying into CPP versus not. Like, it's like, oh yeah, when I retire down the road, you know, I'll get my CPP. It's like, well, if you're not paying into it. So it, <laughs> there are little nuances that you have to understand along the way. Again, so you don't get to 50 and kind of get hit in the face of saying, like, you have to work till 65 or 70 now because you yeah. made really bad decisions early. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I actually asked on my Instagram, I said, hey, Adam's coming in next week and we got a bunch of questions in there. I, I, I should probably should have prepared this beforehand. But um, <laughs> there was, what was one of the questions? I don't even know. One of the questions was on bridge benefits. I don't know if that's even a topic. Yeah. I, I don't even know what a bridge benefit is, to be honest. <laughs> but someone specifically asked that and uh, I don't know if that's a topic to cover or not, but bridge, bridge benefits. Bridge, and it's important. You know, it's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. I mean, Mark, you can touch on this more, but essentially bridge benefit is if you have a defined benefit pension plan and you retire before 65, most of those defined benefit pension plans will have what's called a bridge. And it's basically from retirement age to 65. At 65, your bridge drops off. So let's say you're getting $1,500 a month of your base pension. And then there's another $500 bridge benefit at 65. That bridge drops off. And the big conversation is, and most people just naturally then, you know, Mark, and you would see this over the last mm -hmm. many years, people just start their CPP then. It's yeah. like, oh, bridge is gone, start CPP. Yeah. Yeah. That's typically not the best thing to do. And and that's why kind of creating a comprehensive plan and looking at those income silos that we talk about all the time, like everything has to work together. But that bridge benefit is basically from retirement date to 65, and then typically 65, the bridge will drop off. Yeah, and then, you know, the sort of the, 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 the no-brain scenario is then, yeah, like you say, bridge drops off, your CPP keeps that income going. Um, in in life in general, people tend to go towards the the most obvious solution or the easiest solution, which often isn't the best solution, and especially when it comes to CPP. And you'll have seen this, Adam, when you when you put a like an intellectual discussion on a YouTube channel that that actually has some backing as yeah. to what the logic is. A lot of people will disagree. Oh. Like, you're dumb. Why would you delay yeah. taking CPP? I'm going to die at 70. It's like, how do you know? Like, you have to use <laughs> yeah. statistics, right? But and you see that all over the time. and over. And it just, to me, it reinforces the importance of of just understanding, even if it's the basics, and then you have help yeah. to, to sort of fine tune things. Really important because, you know, you, you've touched on this already. When you're 60 and you're thinking, okay, I'm going to retire soon, you can't start the process then. Here's no. here's a good question. So, I mean, even that just explanation from you guys was a little bit beyond me. I'll be completely honest <laughs> with you guys. And for, for the vast majority of viewers out there, do you think most people need additional help when it comes to this type of thing? Or do you think it's a, a field where with the right education, with the right um, hours put in to learn it on your own, that they can basically do exactly what they need to do um, when it comes to preparing for their retirement. Like, I'll, do you understand what I'll, I'm saying I'll, there? I'll, I'll tackle that first. I think, like, for example, in our investing academy, Adam, your 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 course material on there. There's there's a bunch of different topics that you can become aware of, and um, education. And I'm thinking back to when Brandon, when you became licensed to be an investment advisor. There's a number of courses you have to take, and it's not uh, to become a fully licensed advisor you have to take what's called the Wealth Management Essentials course. And it's not just investing. It covers things like HELOCs and mortgages and insurance. And it's a whole look at a, an individual's financial picture. And 
when when you took that because you had focused previously on investing you just breezed through that portion mm -hmm. but when it came to, to things that were more life experience that to me it was like well i've done that or i've seen that or I've yeah, yeah, for yeah, you, it was yeah, like, yeah what is this like yeah <laughs> exactly like it's it's hard to and and i re i remember that specifically like the more technical aspects of something i can learn like a, yeah. ra a ratio or whatever the yeah, case is yeah. it's like you can do this yeah, yeah. but there was so many cases of, and like even from when I took that course, what was that, seven years ago, what I, like today, mm. a lot of the stuff that I was confused about just makes so much logical sense yes. now that I've got a mortgage, now through. that I've done these things. But yeah. it just does require that life experience. Um, it sure helps. It sure helps. I, I will just finish the thought as well because I kind of went off track there because you would ask the question, can you educate yourself or do you need help? So I'll summarize my thoughts. Educate yourself, but at the end of the day, I believe most people probably will benefit from having a properly drawn up plan and even very intelligent, experienced people. Every time you go through review, it's like, oh, I didn't know that or I wouldn't have thought of that. And mm -hmm. the engineers, accountants, like every when I when an engineer or accountant hires me, it's usually here's my plan. And it's a data dump of Excel spreadsheets. Yeah. And I think I'm 99 percent there yeah. and we'll fine tune it. And it's I, it, I always tell people on our channel, it's typically 50 to 250 thousand dollars of additional taxes saved yeah. on top of what they've done. Yeah. And I think not to cut you off, but I think you know, DIY investing, there's so many tools out there. Like you can do Ooh. DIY investing because the tools are endless. Yeah. There's no proper financial plan. Even the software that I use, Snap Projections, you can't buy it as a consumer. It's yeah. only for professionals. And mm -hmm. a lot of the there's there's no good planning software for DIYers out there. So do you need yeah. to hire a professional? If you want to maximize your plan, minimize tax, absolutely you do. Mm -hmm. But if you can educate yourself along the way, then when I build a plan and go through it with you, you understand what I did, why I did it, the concepts behind it. Like that's that's one of the things working. I'm just thinking back when I worked with you here, Dad, mm. and I was always fascinated with certain clients, like very intelligent clients, as you were saying, who basically, like I think they they could have done stuff on their own. They had the knowledge base mm -hmm. to be complete DIY investors and manage their own portfolios, mm -hmm. but they paid you every year for your service, and mm -hmm. they loved having that relationship yeah. just to make, I don't know if it's like a reassurance blanket sure. or, but like, again, it, it, I think there's a misconception out there that it like has to be one or the other. Like it, it has to be, yeah. it has to be, you're all DIY or you work with a professional and this one's bad and this one's good or this one's good and this there's, one's bad. There's a lot of crossover. In fact, I, over the years, certain clients who took a great interest in learning about investing, I paid for them for their, to take the, the Canadian securities course, for example, because I love having those conversations where like you say, you, you mentioned mm -hmm. something and we always try to not use industry jargon when you're speaking face to face with clients because it, it can lose people. But yeah. when you could s shift into that, and people, are, I get it. I always enjoyed those conversations, or they would come with ideas, and you would either verify that idea, yeah. or you would say, "Oh, well, that's true, but you got to think about this." You Absolutely. Know, and I would say of the people that hire our firm to do plans, I would say a third have no plan. Like they literally yeah. have no idea if yeah. they could retire tomorrow or last week. Yeah. Um, a third of it is. You know, my partner, spouse, whoever doesn't trust my plan, and then the other third is I have a full plan. It's it's comprehensive, but I need reassurance yeah. that it's actually right. Mm -hmm. And you know, like even if you're the most anal, like my brother, my younger brother is uh, the top analytics person in sports, and you probably didn't know this, but he worked for the the Sacramento Kings. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, <laughs> so right. the King. I saw the Kings. Yeah, his business <laughs> partner is Billy Bean. Oh, okay. So like he's okay. the top oh, of the top of the level of analytics, and even he Whoa. tells me all the time, like Adam, what you do. Like I can't even do, and mm -hmm. he builds like we can talk off camera here. Like what he builds for the sports world is like you'll be like, oh, I know that. It, like he he's at the top, the depth, Whoa. and even him. Like it, so, you loop back. Like even <laughs> the best of the best. Like what we do is a little bit different. I'm not saying we're above or below. It, it's just it's comprehensive in nature, and there's certain tricks to the trade essentially that yeah. we implement that just save hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like at the end of the day. And I'll just add to that, and you'll have experienced this. And when I you know left the business. What I miss most is the relationship with clients mm -hmm. and my true joy over the 25 plus years I did that was sitting in this room across the desk with clients and just you you felt the value you were bringing and you you know you hear over the years you know 
we couldn't have done this without you. And I'm not yeah. you know saying, hey, we mm-hmm. have all the mm-hmm. answers. But there's the number crunching exercise, but then there's the human side yeah. as well. And there's a gap between those. And someone like yourself, you fill that gap, right? Yeah. It, and that's huge. It's important. And even through you know COVID, when March 2020 hit, a lot of DIY investors, we brought on a lot of investors and, yeah. and kind of people partnered with us after that because... They said, you know what, I was in mutual funds, I got tired of paying high fees, I wasn't getting advice, I wasn't getting anything mm. for it. Yeah. Then I moved to DIY, COVID hit, and I panicked and sold. And I realized that I made a big mistake. Because yeah. you, you, like, people partner with a planner, and that's why I say, if you don't have a planner on your side, get a team around you that you can kind of lean on and buffer mm-hmm, off of, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And the Investing Academy is a great resource for that, right? Go on the Discord, chat about it. Like, you know, people <laughs> need to be talked off the cliff quite often. <laughs> and, you know, the, the Investing Academy is great for that. Well. Oh, go ahead, Brandon. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just, I, I like what you guys are saying here. Well, and I, and I was just saying on the Discord, if you haven't, if, you, if you're not a member of the Academy and if you haven't used the Discord and seen the, I would say the power or the value to that channel. And um, I, I'm, because we've been in the business for a while, some, what I would say are pretty simple concepts. You just explain them and it's like a you know, light went off. Like a HELOC. Like a HELOC. <laughs> like a HELOC. <laughs> yeah, for example. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like and a HELOC. So, uh, yeah. And, you know, I'm just going to add here. I get it. You know, we we have our YouTube channels uh, independent of one another. We also have our investing academy. And and there's there's a crossover. Our goal really is to touch as many people as possible and to educate and enlighten and help Is the at the end of the day. Absolutely. And right here, when Brandon worked for me, just a quick aside, I worked, uh, when I retired, I had 68 families that I worked with. So not a huge reach. Mm-hmm. And Brandon said, you can talk to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of millions of people and share this knowledge to a broad universe. It had not even crossed my mind until he went that route and said, well, this actually works. Yeah. Um, so now it's so cool because even this video here, we're gonna be talking to a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and so hopefully the goal just to help at the end of the day. And, and not, not everyone can afford the advice. Yeah. Not everyone wants yeah. advice, yeah. but they can kind of take pieces here and there. Yeah. And a, again, it's a small handful that it will actually hire us, yeah. pay yeah. the, you know, yeah. and a lot of people like, you know, we charge four to $6,000 for a conference. You said 46,000 or four yeah, to six? Yeah, I'll charge you 46, <laughs> but it's four. <laughs> Or six thousand, depending <laughs> if you have a rental or corporation. But you know, a lot of people don't want to pay that. Even though I'll say, and I'll show them, like I'll save you two, three, four hundred thousand dollars in taxes. Like yeah. if you worded it differently, though, if you said, "Look, I have a four thousand dollar investment, and I'll give you a two hundred thousand yeah. return," you do it overnight. <laughs> you do it overnight. Yeah. But but again, everyone's in a different situation. Yeah. But yeah, it's, I mean, YouTube. This is a great means to just inform, educate. Um, and, and whether they're, you know, that's why I like partnering with you guys and, and other um, content creators is they get a different angle on the same content, yes. which is yeah. really good. Everyone hears things differently. It's like when we were back in school, you, every teacher could, you know, you, you hear different people in different ways, yeah. right? So it's good to have different kind of viewpoints on it. I, yeah. I think that kind of summarizes it because, yeah, like we all do have the same vision at the end of the day. Yeah. There, there's one outcome, there's one goal, and whether it's, to help you prepare better for retirement or to build a better portfolio or whatever the case is, like it's to help you guys be better with your money. Mm-hmm. Like that is the end goal with all the contributors that at least we would talk about and you know work <laughs> yeah. with on the channel. Yeah. But it's just different methods. And I don't know if this is like, I don't know if this is a good analogy, but I was, I've been in and out of the hospital like more than I, <laughs> more than I want to be over the past little while, right? Yeah. And you know, like a hospital concept is, is I draw a lot of comparables because you got all their different specialists, right? You got the yeah, surgeons, yeah. you got the, the nurses, you got the ultrasound people, and they all do their own thing, but they're all there to help you get yeah. better, and they're all referring to each other, and they're all kind of like a network effect. Yeah. And, you know, you go in there and you get whatever you need, right? Um, so in that analogy, uh, I guess when I talk about the retirement stuff, I'm like the anesthesiologist because I put you to sleep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. Yeah. Um, that's a good analogy I hadn't thought yeah. of. But, it but it's that c- conceptually, yeah. I mean, that's I, I think we are in a very unique situation as influencers of people mm-hmm. that have all these, you know, views and, and people coming to us for, for kind of direction, direction yeah. really. And it's like, again... I'll be the first one to say, I'm not the guy to speak on HELOCs. I'm not the guy to speak on government pensions. Like, that's just not me. Mm -hmm. But we have people in these spots to essentially work together so that when, like, all the time, Adam, people come to our channel and they're, like, asking us about such and such thing. That's just beyond what we do. And I assume it's probably the other way around, too. Like, it's other channels. And it's, like, to to build a network of people that are, are, are all kind of... Again, all at the same goal, all working together to help provide you guys with the best education. I mean, that's what we're doing on the YouTube channel, and that's completely free. Like, if you're not already subscribed to Adam's YouTube channel, you go do that right now. You should have done that <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> but um, that's just the. This is just the start, and of course, as you guys kind of referenced, like our platform is 
it's nineteen ninety nine a month. Like I, people may think they may see that. Yeah. Like yeah, like I, I laugh when I say that because like you said, Adam, like. <laughs> You need to think, you need to shift the way you think about things in more of an investment. Like, I'm putting this money in, but what am I going to get back, right? And, like, we have charged thousands of dollars for just a component of what's included there. And people are getting literally, like, the the feedback we get on that is that yeah. this changed my life. Best investment of my life. And you can get that for $19.99 a month in conjunction with yeah. Adam's program. And we have a lot more down in the pipeline. Like, it's just the start of, uh, of something truly, I think, special. And, um, and the geez, webinars, the bi-weekly webinars. Like, like just yesterday, like we just had a webinar and like, again, I'm learning from you guys. <laughs> like, you know, there's so many students in there that were t- tuning in and asking about, you know, their, their uh, HELOCs and whether this is the right way, this is the right way. And it's, um, there's so many, there's so many different ways that we can help teach you guys. Mm-hmm. It's not just a video course. Like there's the discord, there's the webinars, there's mm-hmm. all sorts of stuff. Newsletters coming soon. It's, it's, it's wild. And um, like I said, we could talk about that all day, but maybe in, in just wrapping up, Maybe let's let's switch gears and talk about something fun. Like what what what, what <laughs> should, what, what, yeah. what should <laughs> yeah yeah um, let's talk about something fun. Do the Raptors have a chance? No, they're not. Yeah. A, so um, that's tough. That, yeah. I, I'm genuinely curious about what you're saying with your brother there. Like that's yeah. and I noticed the Sacramento like sweat sweatshirt you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah. Like the Kings. So, yeah. So my, <laughs> but uh, my brother, if if you've ever heard of the Sloan Sports Conference. So it's at, I think it's at MIT every year. Okay. So like basically owners, GMs, it's kind of the biggest sports analytics conference in the world. Um, and my brother years ago, you know, won that year over year. Um, he, he worked at Harvard. He's worked, you know, for the U.S. government. Wow. He's had a lot of crazy big jobs. Anyway, he, he's from here, obviously. Does he have a YouTube channel? <laughs> he doesn't. No, I should get him on, though. Um, I'd like to get Billy Bean on. That would be amazing. That'd but, be um, yeah, so so basically my brother, it, it, he got dragged down to Sacramento, worked for the Sacramento Kings, uh, built out their analytics department. Um, and then kind of through that and all the connections that he's made over time, um, yeah, the people, I was, we were down there a couple of years ago and, um, you know, he got a phone call. I'm like, who is that? He's like, so-and-so and an owner of a professional, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you, yeah. you know, the name, yeah. like that. Yeah, kind of. It's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, we consult back and forth. He consults me on wow. stuff. It's just like mind blowing no the level that he's at. But, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Like it's, it's kind of cool that he's you know, younger brother and learn from him. But yeah. So he's partnered with Billy Bean on some stuff. Um, they own an investment company that buys, they own a, a one, I think maybe two soccer clubs now, like yeah. U- European football yeah, clubs. Yeah. Wow. They own uh, a, a bunch of professional sports teams abroad um they're looking at locally as well and then he owns uh, i'm going to say this wrong but zealous analytics okay. and it's a analytics firm out of uh they're based out of texas and they have i think they have like 40 or 50 staff now but they do analytics for professional sports teams so mlb they're getting nfl next year they're getting into N- uh, nhl so like all the professional yeah, sports. Yeah. and wow. they have I think they're four or six um, basketball teams as well. So is it fair to say he's like a fan of sports or he's more just a number crunching guy? He's like a number crunching. So <laughs> you, you can get the analytics. Like, you know, you talk about in hockey, like Corsi and this kind of stuff. Like those, that, there's companies that grab the data points. Yeah. But then what do you do with the data points? So if sure, he works with the teams yeah. to take the data points, it's like us, right? Like we can take yeah. the financial planning yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah. We take it and then actually like create the best strategy want, yeah, with it. Yeah. That's what he does for sports teams with the analytic data. So, you know, 99% of us see the da- like the Corsi and this and that. And we kind of like, okay we kind of know what this means he then takes it and creates formulas to like use it so yeah think about this lebron james has the ball at the three-point line what's the best decision for him to make that's what my brother does yeah. should wow. he pass it should he shoot it should he drive and if he drives then from there what's the best thing for him to do and so my brother has built all that out so if you search uh, luke born and what that lots of stuff out there it reminds wow. me i'll tell a quick story i was at a in vancouver we have a uh, minor league baseball team called the vancouver canadians and i was at a game a well, probably pre-COVID, maybe three years ago. Time's flying the last couple of years, isn't it, guys? And I was behind the visitor's bench so on the right side of the, of the field, and they were preparing for the next batter. And there was a coach who had an iPad or some device in front of him. And before every batter came up, he'd point to each player and tell them where to stand. And the shortstop was, or sorry, the third baseman was X number of feet or steps away from third base. And the guy looked at him and he went like this. The guy took three steps. He went back a step. The guy took a step back. Okay, we're good. Next pitch, line drive. The guy just held his glove up. Boom. Now, that's obviously not going to happen every single time, but I was just blown away right to the guy's glove. It was just... Unbelievable. Sports analytics, like, well, that's what my brother does, like yeah, that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. And it is crazy the detail they can fine tune to. Like, it's, yeah, yeah. it's quite astounding. So, anyway, just oh, a bit about him. Anyway, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, cool. Total aside, but yeah. it, it's very cool. Like, if you the, own a sports team, talk to Luke. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you probably have already. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good. Wow. Well, good. Yeah. Um, geez. 
I'm just thinking, yeah, maybe we can wrap it up there. Like, we're actually going to film another video right now for Adam's channel. Hmm. But, um, yeah, that's awesome. I Yeah, I, I, I've really enjoyed this discussion. Like I say, for, for our channel, which is investment-focused, just to talk a little bit more breadth. Uh, as to what you should be looking for is, is hopefully valuable for people. And yeah. I, I always enjoy this well, types thanks, of discussion. Yeah, thanks so. for having me on here. Hey, you bet. Really nice to say, finally get to see meet you in person. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. good. If you guys aren't already following Adam again, I'll say it. I'll put a link somewhere and plop it up here or there. Um, go do that. And um, geez, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Um, subscribe. And of course, as we mentioned, the Investing Academy down below. You get to see all of us. We're contributors <laughs> there. We're in yeah. the Discord chit-chatting. Uh, webinars all that all that jazz it's that first link down below but i guess with that we'll sign off and yeah pleasure having you here adam and you. uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next video